what I had in mind was a game called the uh, birthday problem. So there are about 380 people here. Uh, actually, they're missing. Uh, there are some seats that are empty. So I think we're about at 365. So as many as days as there are in a year, there are people in this auditorium here, roughly. So the question is, what is the probability that two people share a birthday? Now, obviously, if there are 365 people here, then the probability is, well, one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, 366, yeah. 300, 300, uh, yeah, and 66, the probability would have to be one. I think everybody would agree with that. But uh, probability theory teaches us that the probability is quite high with even a much, much smaller set of people. So I'd like to play this game. Sometimes it fails. So if I fail, forgive that's me. That's the trouble with probability. Right, yeah, that's no, exactly the problem. That's why I hate the probability. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I think people ask me if I get nervous. Uh, I, I only get nervous now in case it doesn't work. Yeah, OK. Yeah. So here's what I'd like to do. There are six people here and 10 here. Nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a total of 15. Uh, the next row has. Uh, uh, 12, and uh, 3 here. So uh, that's uh, 15, and what did we say here? 12 uh, and 3, I think that gets you to 30. I'm sorry? 16 and 12. 16 and 12, that's 30 that's people, enough. right? Roughly. 20. Uh, 28. <laughs> you said mathematicians no, that's right, can't um, count. Uh, uh, we can't count. 28 people. So you mean so, mathematicians? <laughs> I know a mathematician who can't do the, uh, uh, you know, the tip, needs a table for the 15% <laughs> tip. So we're all the same. So what I, wanted, what I want to do is to uh, have the first person here uh, say aloud your birthday. If anyone here, in the first two rows here, which is a much smaller set uh, than the whole auditorium, matches, I want you to say bingo or something, or match. <laughs> So I'm going to go around, and I want you to uh, loudly say your birthday. Not the year, just the day <laughs> and month. November 6th. I match with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. That's a... <laughs> but I'm not sitting yeah, here. Yeah, you're not so sitting down there, so you don't count. That's, uh, yeah. It's probably your twin uh, brother over, sister or something. Sister, yeah. right. Uh, January 4th. Everybody heard January 4th? OK. October 18. October 18. <coughs> July 25th. July 25th. May 21st. May 21st. August 21st. August 21st. That's a match. <laughs> oh, oh my match. gosh, you're going to. November 14th. November 14th. Bingo. Good. Oh, excellent. Oh, oh. That was. Uh, Thank you. Well, I got so nervous I couldn't count. <laughs> it worked. But that, so that's let me explain it, I guess. That, yeah, that yeah. It? I mean, why sure. is it so? Okay. I think most people's so, intuition that it'll be, you might need about, uh, you know, 150 people or something. Yeah, so. I think we talked about the two uh, soccer teams. Well, 23 with 23 people, the probability is already 50 percent. 23 people, 50 percent. With 30 people, it's 70%. With 40 people, it's 90%. Imagine, 40 people, there are 365 days. With 40 people, 90% probability that they'll match. Now, why is it? Why does it work? Um, does anybody have an idea? Yes? During periods of time, there are people more fertile. <laughs> 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 So, so, so the answer was that there are more periods of time when people might be likely to um, have the children. Uh, uh, <laughs> no but that's numbers. not the answer, is it? I mean, that, that's the well, biologist's it, answer it's, and it's, the mathematician's it's, answer. It's, it's, it's actually a good answer because you, you get congregation, you know, unevenness. So it, it's actually a very good answer. But even if that doesn't happen, uh, you do get it just because of the way the numbers work. So uh, to prove this, the, the, the rule for finding the probability is 1 minus 364 over 365 times 363 over 365 and so on, up to 23 of, of them or so, or 30 or so on. Uh, the reason is that the way to explain it in, in the best possible way is in a sort of a... Uh, uh, 
a mental experiment or, or uh, you know, uh, what you have is 365 little boxes here. Imagine 365 boxes that are lined here and they're little balls that fall down from the sky and fall into these boxes. Now you say there are 365 boxes. That's a lot of boxes. What's the probability that it will match? You say, well, there are lots of places every ball can go, right? We all agree on that. On the other hand, to think of this kind of problem, you have to think, what is the probability of no match? And uh, if you know a little bit about probability, you see that I did 1 minus 364, 365, and so on. You really have to think of the probability of no match and subtract it from 1. Well, when does no match happen? Where every ball is separate. There's no aggregation at all. But if you kind of visualize it, you see, as balls fall down, they're likely to be two of them in one box. It's just is the way it is. Otherwise, everybody, every ball has to fall into a unique box, and that d just doesn't, doesn't tend to happen. So I so suppose in some sense it's about, uh, I, I suppose our intuition is, uh, what's the probability that somebody has my birthday? And of right, course that's, that's different. different. I mean, right. The different right. number of, you know, with the 30 people, the, the, way, the number of ways you could have paired them up is, is, is much larger exactly. than just 30. Right. Uh, right. Five pairs of birthdays. Yes. Right. Exactly. exactly, so that's... So if you right. think you're drawing yeah. from different pairs of birthdays, right. Yeah. yeah. The question is when are two paired the same versus different? That's a different question than yeah. do they have your birthday, right? Exactly. I saw it on my shelf becoming a different the size of a hot and cold spot. I'm not sure what a bar and searching on the universe. I have 400,000 years old. I have 400,000 years old. So let me ask you this. Nature holds up this ruler. I close it.